Well, hello everyone. Today's devotion comes somewhat as a confession. Uh, really as, as one of the many reasons that some of our parents uh, are exhausted from these days. Uh, church can be that way, especially if those of our parents who are heavily involved in, yeah. in some of our committee work, uh, some of our decision-making processes. Uh, and, um, you know, I was looking at a picture of a mom and dad, uh, and it was very interesting. They had computers in the background. Uh, the house was a bit messy. Uh, and, and there were three kids, and one of the kids was pulling at the, the mom's uh, sweater. Uh, she was holding a baby, and the dad was trying to deal with the son who had been sneaking, taking advantage of the stressful moment to sneak something out of the cupboard. Uh, and so that was a really kind of interesting, interesting picture of our parents today. <laughs> and it, it plays out in every house <laughs> around us these days, doesn't yeah. it? And really this pandemic has thrown a curveball into every parent's uh, schedule and yeah. plan. And, uh, but you're doing such a great job and your most important work isn't in keeping the day-to-day -day stuff going. Um, it's really in rearing the next generation yeah. um, of Jesus followers. And most of you probably feel as well equip, equipped for that task as you do in teaching math and science to your kids right now. <laughs> right. So today we've got this scripture for you, and it comes from Matthew 11. I'm just going to read it right now. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lonely in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah, well, I'm sure that yoke right now feels like a, a, a thousand semi-trucks <laughs> on the shoulders of our parents. Because yeah. I know, uh, you know, when I had children at home, um, how stressful that can be. But, you know, I've looked back and have seen that God doesn't expect nearly as much from us as we have put on ourselves. We think everything has to be just right. But um, as one Christian blogger wrote, spend time counting the cost reevaluate the priorities, and if something seems too heavy, lay it down. Uh, bless the family for saying no, and uh, make that burden lighter, and that's mm. shalom. Uh, that's one of the things I think I've heard before. Um, hmm. It can be a holy answer to say no. Hmm. Uh, you don't have to say yes to everything, right. and that includes the level of perfection that... Uh, you know, I think a lot of us have fallen into that, that space where it has to be just so and just exactly and a certain way. And the kids have to be involved in and all And that just these can't things. be yeah. all the time. Yeah. And you have to be able to say no to that. It's not just no to the commitments. It's no to that, that level of perfection and control mm -hmm. and, and letting that go. So I want to pray for each of you right now. Lord, thank you for each parent and grandparent in our midst. They are so important for your plan to share your good news with the next generation. But it's hard to do when life gets so burdensome. So give us the ability to say a holy no to the things that add burdens to our pandemic days. Create shalom in the families, Lord, and draw the next generation closer to you. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, everybody, thanks for joining us today for this word of encouragement. Uh, it's been fun this week, really, to give yeah, these encouraging yeah, words. Yeah, to think uh, of the different, 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 different people that ways are people watching. are involved outside yeah. the built walls of the church. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye.